Hello, everyone. I'm Chaplain Eric Wismar, full-time support chaplain for your Connecticut National Guard. I would like to share with you some religious perspectives regarding the COVID-19 vaccinations that are being offered to us in the Connecticut National Guard, the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. To give you the bottom line up front, in general, Christian, Muslim, and Jewish scholarship and statements support receiving the current Moderna and Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccines. In a moment, I'm going to share a little bit more with you from each of these faith perspectives. However, before I do, I did want to say that choosing whether or not to receive a COVID-19 vaccination is an important personal decision. And the intent of this video is simply to share perspectives on religious ethical issues so that you can make an informed decision. This is not an endorsement of these positions, nor a recommendation. Rather, it's an attempt to provide you with material regarding these COVID-19 vaccines for you uh, to consider. From a Roman Catholic perspective, the Chairman for the Committee on Doctrine and the Chairman for the Committee on Pro-Life Activities concluded that, in view of the gravity of the current pandemic and the lack of availability of alternative vaccines, the reasons to accept the new COVID-19 vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna are sufficiently serious to justify their use, despite their remote connection to morally compromised cell lines. In addition, receiving the COVID-19 vaccine ought to be understood as an act of charity toward the other members of our community. In this way, being vaccinated safely uh, against COVID-19 should be considered an act of love for our neighbor and part of our moral responsibility for the common good. Turning to the Protestant uh, Christian perspective, there is no one unifying ethical opinion. Concerns uh, relate to pro-life reservations about the use of aborted fetal cell lines in vaccine research and production. And the Charlotte Lozier Institute is a really good place where you can get accurate and timely research and information on life issues. Of note, the two vaccines currently available did not use aborted fetal cell lines in either design or development, although they may have in some level of testing afterward. In the Lozier Institute's Ethical Assessment Guide, both vaccines are ranked as ethically uncontroversial. Specific to COVID-19 vaccines, the Lozier Institute provided a chart of the various vaccines as they relate to abortion-derived cell lines that you may find helpful. From a Muslim perspective, the Muslim American Society issued a recommendation this past December with the following statement. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccines do not contain porcine products. They do not contain stem cell products or dead fetal remains. According to the American Muslim jurists of North America, the COVID-19 vaccines produced by Pfizer and Moderna, which will be soon available, do not rely on such technologies, and thus there is no reason to doubt their permissibility because of this concern. And from a Jewish perspective, ethical considerations from reviewed literature appear to focus more on whether it is ethically acceptable for Jewish individuals to participate in vaccinations. In general, the answer is yes. I hope this video has provided you with some religious perspectives regarding the COVID-19 vaccinations. It was a brief overview and certainly not exhaustive of all religious groups and positions. On that note, should you have any further questions or wish to discuss anything further, please reach out to me at the number listed on your screen or via my email, which is there as well. Thank you for your time and your attention, and I hope this video has been helpful to you in your consideration of whether or not to receive a COVID-19 vaccination. One team, one fight. God bless.